What's up, y'all? What's good? It's your girl, Straight Facts and Match. I'm locked and loaded, so make sure you have your notification bell set to also you know the next time that I do upload a video because we on go, so let's go. Let's go ahead and get off into this reaction video. This is about my Jazzy's life, okay? So she said that, um, y'all, um, they had a big announcement, and the big announcement was that they found a bigger house to accommodate not only her five children, but Chris's extra kids as well. Let's talk about this, okay? First of all, um, I feel as though, you know, Jasmine's like, she's a copycat, okay? So, monkey see, monkey do. You do it, I'm going to do it too. This is this is where we're at with this, okay? Um, I recall watching a vlog that Philip did, and he was talking about how Hannah wanted to get a bigger space for the children since the children are coming over there to that apartment she felt like they needed a bigger place you know since the kids were going to be coming over there a lot she felt like that 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 space that they're in is not big enough so let's find us something bigger okay now all of a sudden jasmine is coming with this idea that she needs to upgrade and get something bigger but but it's not it's not for her kids it's for chris's kids let me tell you something let me tell you something bitch before you before you try to accommodate somebody else's children, you need to make sure that yours are accommodated first. Because first of all, you and Chris are not husband and wife. So for you to be wanting to move in something bigger to accommodate his children so they can have rooms to go into when they get there is 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 not something that needs to go down. They shouldn't have to worry your your sons, your sons. Patches and Aiden should not have to worry about sharing no rooms with Anybody else because they don't live in that house with them at all, period. I don't understand why they have to have rooms. I, I don't understand that at all. I, I really don't. I mean, they're not even coming over to your house like that. So what do they need rooms for? What do you need to accommodate them for when you don't when you don't have to? They don't even come to your house. First of all, bitch, if you're going to say that it's going to be for your kids and his, he has three extra kids, not just two. But three, bitch, meaning Paris, his daughter, you know, the one that you've been trying to replace this whole entire time, Paris, the one that you've been trying to replace this whole entire time that you cannot replace because there's no replacing a child. OK, that child belongs to him. It's funny to me how you are trying to move in the, in the middle of the school year when you shouldn't be trying to move into the middle of the school year at all for the simple fact. They just started school. So why would you be trying to move? If there's no reason for you to move, if that landlord is not putting you out, then I don't know why you will be trying to move all of a sudden in the middle of the school year and talk about how much of a hassle it is to do so. You already know that. And then going to say that that is still in the school district, but you don't know if you should take it or not. You don't know if you should take it or not, but it's still in the school district. You're going to sit here and tell us that you don't put a deposit down on this on this home. And they're going to allow you to sit and think for three weeks before they, before they, girl, please, let me tell you something. Nobody's going to sit up there and hold up their property for you for three weeks for you to pick and choose what you want to do. It's either you know or you don't know. Don't nobody go put a deposit on something if they don't have the intentions to move in. That's some dumb shit. So I don't know who you think you fooling, but people that rent, that just, that rent just like you. No, that that shit that you're talking about, girl, is, is stupid. We in a whole pandemic. Do you do you want us to believe that somebody's going to put their property on hold for three weeks for you to pick and choose and decide if that's something that you want to do? I mean, evidently, if you went to put a deposit on it, I mean, that's what you wanted to do, right? Or are you just making this all up because you want somebody to help you with a deposit for a house that you're trying to get? Is that what it is? You're indirectly dry bagging, bitch, because you want, a, you want something bigger. You don't let that fool talk you into doing something. Right. Because you could be easily manipulated. So you don't let him talk you into getting a bigger space, but he's not even helping you do shit. So that's not even logical sense at all. It doesn't make any sense at all. Period. Not to mention, bitch, you are pregnant. Let's just be very clear. It ain't got shit to do with you trying to move. Bitch, you look big as a house. Pregnant. That should have been your announcement. Why don't you just come out and say it? Hmm. Be real with yourself so that you can be real with others. Because this shit you got going on here, bitch, like for real, seriously. Oh, you guys, me and Chris got approved. What is approved? Approved? Approved. Nate chose. You can't spare early. 
I mean, like, really, but you can get on here and talk shit. That's that's sad that you can get on here and talk shit, but you don't know how to spell. You need to you need to get yourself together. You really do. And you really need to consider not putting yourself in a jam because you already know that you're not getting the help that you're supposed to be getting. So it doesn't make logical sense for you to be trying to uh, go somewhere and move somewhere to a bigger space, uh, knowing that you cannot really afford it. You already was talking about how twenty four hundred dollars is a, a well too much. So why would you be trying to add more to your plate when you're already deprived, when you're already being deprived as it is? Does that make sense? Because it don't make any sense to me. If that man wanted his kids to have rooms and y'all should have moved into a, when y'all moved, that's what y'all should have did in the first place. Why is it all of a sudden now that Chrissy done moved to Colorado? She got her new, a new house. Um, now that Olivia's done moved, she's done moved into a house. Now all of a sudden you talking about a house because bitch, you are something like, listen, like I said, copycat. You have the copy. I done diagnosed you with the copycat syndrome, bitch. You and a lot of these bitches that's on this app just like the copycat. Don't have no originality or nothing. Just be taking people's shit and stealing it. And try to make it your own. But you epically fail every single time, bitch. I mean, like, for real on some real shit. Because it doesn't make any sense for you to bite more off than you can chew. You only need to be trying to live within your means of the pot. You know, your pockets can afford. You cannot try to live like Marseille. You cannot try to live like Christina. You cannot live like Olivia. Because Olivia got people that got money, evidently, that's, that's helping her do all of this shit that she be doing because they called her that stupid bitch. You, on the other hand, done lost your, mo your mother's helping hand due to you having that bum in your house. So, bitch, you might want to tread lightly with these decisions that you're making because you already know that you can half-ass afford what you got going on now and then you call yourself trying to add more to the situation and you shouldn't be trying to do that it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever none but to you it makes a lot of sense you want to convince us that you didn't put down a deposit on something but you don't know if you want to move off into it make that shit make sense bitch for real how you not know that you want to move off into this place but you put a whole deposit down on it and we know the deposit you put down on the house is way you talking how big it is, bitch. It wasn't no chump change of a deposit. So if you are able to make that type of decision to go put a deposit down on something, bitch, then how come you can't make the decision to go ahead and move off into it? Especially if the house is in the district, then why would you be worried about it being in the middle of the school year? You wasn't worried about it when you made that decision to put the deposit down. Which is very stupid. If your landlord is not putting your ass out due to you messing up his plumbing and you having those critters craw crawling around in his house, then bitch, there's no need for you to pack up and move unless you're getting put out. Unless you are getting put out, there's no need for you to put those kids through that and have them having to change and go through all of this stuff. And then not to mention, bitch, yeah, Amaya's birthday is coming up. So you might want to save your funds for her because see, you trying to come up with this. Oh, I'm trying to move shit. Oh, no, nah, bitch, you need to be using that money for your daughter so that she can have a good birthday party come when it comes December. Just like you done tried to you done giving this boy this birthday party or whatever. bitch, you need to keep that same energy for Amaya and for those twins when those twins twins birthday come rolling around. And when Kaylin's birthday come rolling around again, bitch because it's going to come very soon. Very damn soon it's going to come again. You need to get your shit together. Why are you trying to make all these different uh, changes and shit that you know that you're not able to afford or you're ready for? Bitch, you're going to be depressed and stressed out on that floor like you was talking about some of you guys. I'm just so stressed out. I'm just so overwhelmed. Yeah, bitch, because you biting off more than what you could chew, bitch. You need to live within your means and know what your pockets can afford because trying to keep up with the Joneses, bitch, is going to give your, keep your ass evicted and keep your shit in repossession. Let's just be very clear. Clear.